How did you get involved in this case? I was contacted by Ms. Camille Vasquez, one of the attorneys for Mr. Depp. Okay. And what was the nature of the contact? Ms. Vasquez called me and indicated um, that she might be interested in having me meet the legal team so that I could discuss my expertise and possibly provide my opinions related to the matter. Yeah. What were you asked to provide uh, expert opinion on? So initially, uh, my role that I understood at the time was to review the case materials and um, provide my opinions regarding anything that I noticed that was consistent or even inconsistent with the psychological science um, that exists today on intimate partner violence in Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's relationship. Okay. All right, you used a phrase there, uh, intimate partner violence. What are you talking about? So there are a multitude of different definitions depending on the source or the state. Uh, but essentially, intimate partner violence is abuse. It could be physical, psychological, uh, and it's from one partner to another in an intimate relationship. Okay. Um, did your role in this case evolve over time? Yes, uh, it shifted. So I was retained uh, in, at the end of January 2021, and then uh, had just barely begun to review the documents. The case was postponed, and then in October 2021, um, I was asked uh, by counsel to provide a psychological evaluation of Ms. Heard. Okay. Did, uh, were you ever asked to do a uh, psycholo psychological evaluation of Mr. Depp? No. Okay. Uh, what types of documents did you consider in this analysis? So I reviewed uh, quite a few documents as part of my evaluation. That included um, all of the case documents, Ms. Hurd's uh, medical records by Dr. Kipper, her prior mental health treatment records. I believe I reviewed records from uh, Dr. Amy Banks, Dr. Bonnie Jacobs, Dr. Cohen, Connell Cohen, um, uh, and also a significant portion of my review involved uh, notes from nurse Erin Filotti at the time, Erin Borum, who spent a significant time with Ms. Hurd in her direct company. I also reviewed exhibits, um, quite a few audio recordings, a video recording, several video recordings or possibly photographs, I might be getting them confused, um, and multiple witness statements, testimony, and um, declarations. Did there come a time when you met directly with Ms. Hurd? Yes, I did. So in conducting my evaluation, I met with Ms. Hurd on two separate dates, December 10th and December 17th, 2021. As, the res as a result of the work that you performed, did you form any opinions with respect to Ms. Hurd? I did. What were those opinions? I, uh, the results of Ms. Hurd's evaluation supported two diagnoses borderline personality disorder, and histrionic personality disorder. How did you conclude that Ms. Hurd suffers from the personality disorders that you identified? So uh, there was information that supported it from multiple sources. Um, I conducted testing, including um, one of the main tests that I used uh, she obtained scores that were consistent with those diagnoses. And then I also, um, there was evidence of those diagnoses in her records and in her self-report. Okay. 